good morning students myself uh, vijay shankar from ct department chimbal engineering college today we are going to discuss about the inverse laplace transform examples the previous uh, two classes uh, we completed the some examples in the laplace transform now today also you can discuss about this a few more uh, examples of laplace transform and then you go for the inverse laplace transform now how we can find the inverse laplace transformation for the given frequency domain function converted to the time domain function so the wave synthesis uh, using uh, laplace transform to express the function into singular function and express it in it is in the synthesis find the laplace transformation of the wave form so there is a slopes given 0 to t the slope is linearly increases up to the magnitude of a and t to 3t and at the 2t it passes to the origin or the origin it passes at, at 2t it is a zero and there is a negative slope is there negative slope with minus a is a magnitude and then from 3 to 2 3t to 4t duration the positive slope up to the zero axis at t so individually you can find the slopes then after you can apply the laplace transformation to find out the total signal given the x of t the first of all if i am taking that as a t by t into mu of t is the slope how you can take the zero zero is a one quadrant the zero zero here the zero zero let us assume zero zero is a one quadrant here and the t comma zero t comma zero not the t comma zero sorry the the magnitude is there t is x and a is the y so the first quadrant you can assume the x1 y1 and second one is a x2 y2 okay to find the first slope uh, the 0 to the up to the t value this is a first slope let us take it is a first one this is a second slope and there is a third slope is there to get it is a fourth also this is a third one and the fourth slopes after combining all the four you get the x of t the given signal the first one if i am take the two quadrants here you know the 5 minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 is a slight line equation with the slope of m y is equal to mx plus c what is the y here the x of t the y axis x of t minus y1 y1 is a zero here Zero. Y two is a, a minus y one is a zero, and x two is a t minus x one is a zero. And what is that x axis having the t variable? So t minus x one is a zero. So x of t is equal to we got as a by capital T is a constant and the ramp signal t. We are taking from the zero to infinite, so it is multiplied with the mu of t. First one, a by capital T into small t is the first slope. X of t we got as a by capital T into small t mu of t this is the equation. The second one, if I am taking here, with the negative slope is it is a negative slope, definitely. Up to the two t, and from two t to the three t, you can take it as another one, and then the three to two four t. Following my students, so this a slope is extended up to the mark of two here, and then you can move this slope towards the negative axis. Is a positive axis is there, positive towards the positive value, and you go to the minus. Minus value, and there is the same 
signal but with the shifting of the t samples the same signal here that signal is shifted towards the t sample means now we'll get like this at the t okay or it is a small capital t might is okay what i am saying that it is a here the signal is there x of t a a by t into t mu of t is shifted towards the t samples now what is the value here now it given so of x of uh, A by capital T, A by capital T, and this T is now shifted, the T minus T, and it is also the mu of T minus T, mu of T minus T. What did my students? And why there is a minus two is there? It is a negative slope. Definitely, it is a minus. And whenever there is a positive value here, positive a slope is there, positive a, and this for magnitude is a minus a. Here the magnitude is a minus a minus two. To get this minus a, definitely that is multi added with the minus two a. Plus a minus two a is nothing but we'll get the minus a. Got it? Is a minus a negative slope of minus a magnitude. So minus two a by t, and it is shifted towards the sample of the t. So t minus t mu of t minus t. Got it, my students? So that is the second one. Second slope we got. That second slope is two x of t is equal to same signal. But it is a positive a, and this one is a negative a, negative minus a. So to get it is a negative minus a. We can add the minus two a plus this to the a. So we'll get the minus a by t, and it is shifted towards the t samples. So t minus capital T into mu of t minus capital T. Got it, my dear student? That is the second one. And similarly, the third one you can see <coughs> to get it is a third one at the three t at the three t. I wrote this one is up to the two t one t to three two t. And coming to the three t and three t is there. I wrote here the two a by t a and t minus three uh, t and the uh, mu of t minus three uh, t. Because it is a shifted towards a, still it is towards the right side, up to the three t. Okay, but what is the slope here? Two a by t. Why it is a two a by t? Already we have it is a minus a is there, minus a. To get it is a positive slope. To get the positive slope here, here the plus a. To get it is a minus a. We add the a to the minus two a. It becomes of minus e. Already we have here the minus e. To get it is a positive. You can add the minus e with the plus two e. Then it becomes of e only. So positive slope. Now the third one again becomes. Uh, it is shifted towards uh, up to the three three t, and it is a positive slope coming from the negative values. Got it, my dear students. So third. Slope we can write as x of t is equal to of adding the a with the minus two a the slope is minus a and this minus a slope to get it is a positive a slope we can add plus two a what it matters for us a I am adding the minus two a it becomes of minus a is the slope is minus a minus a by t And this minus a it becomes of plus a. How to add the two a for that one? It becomes a one. Got it? So I am taking the two a by t, 
And what is a T? Now the ramp signal is shifted towards a 3T, up to the 3T. So T minus 3T multiplied with the V of T minus 3T. Why I'm adding the multiplying the V of T minus 3T also? So always it is a shifted towards means up to the infinite. Got it. And at the 4T, there is no any slope. To become, it is a zero. Slope is extended like this until. And you have to bring that as a zero value. Zero value. So already the plus A is there. To get this a zero, you can add minus A. So fourth slope is x of t is equal to a is added with the minus 2a, it becomes of minus a, and minus a is added with the 2a, it becomes of plus a, and plus a is added with the minus a, a by t, it becomes of the zero, the zero slope. And it shifted towards 4t and mu of t minus 4t. Got it, my best friends. Okay. So these are the four slopes we got <clears throat> from the given signal, positive slope, negative slope, and again positive slope, and it becomes a zero here. So otherwise, if it is not the zero, it looks like, like this. Okay, actually it is a up to the extended value. Okay, this is a third slope. 2a by t, the t minus 3t and mu of uh, t minus 3t. To become this slope is a zero, then we can take the fourth one is a minus a by t, the t minus 4t and mu of t minus 4t. Got it. The first slope, a by t, the t into mu of t, this is a slope. And second slope up to the 2t, minus 2a by t, the t minus t, mu of t minus t. And the third slope will get at the 3t. So 2a by t the t minus 3t, v of t minus 3t. And fourth slope is at 4t. So minus a by t the t minus 4t, v of t minus 4t. Okay. The slope is standard at the t. So it is shifted towards t samples. The slope is standard at the 3t. So it is shifted towards the 3t samples. The slope is standard at the 4t. So it is shifted towards the 4p samples. All the four signals you can add. Got it? All the four signals you can add. A by t the t v of t minus 2a by t the t minus t v of t minus t plus 2a by t the t minus 3t v of t minus 3t minus a by t the t minus 4t v of t minus 4t. Taking the Laplace transform on both sides, taking the Laplace transform on both sides, x of t becomes x of x. According to the definition of the Laplace transformation, a by t is a constant. The t into mu of t, the ramp function, the ramp function for Laplace transformation is 1 by s square. Okay, and this is also the Laplace transformation for the ramp only, but shifted with the t samples. So shifted with the t samples means that the t mu of t using the two functions might as well here. The Laplace transformation is 1 by s square. And x of uh, t minus t, the Laplace transformation, the shifting uh, second property of the Laplace transformation, time shift property. Okay. What it is? Uh, e power minus s into whatever the samples is shifted here. Let us take it as the tau. Tau into x of s. Cut it. What is the x of s here? The t on. Because here, the t minus t. Shifting is a t minus t, mu of t minus t. So e power minus s, the tau, whatever the value is shifted here. And you can apply the Laplace transformation of x of s. Ramp. So see here, minus 2a by t is a constant. And I wrote the 1 by s square because of x, x of s is there. 
and but it is shifted with the t samples p power minus s into capital t and the third term take the 2a by t 1 by s square i wrote because it is x of s ramp function only but it is a shifted with home what samples here 3t samples so e power minus 3t into s minus a by t into and again here also the ramp function only. first you can apply the laplace transformation for the lamp is 1 by s square and that ramp is shifted with 4t samples so it is multiplied with the exponential negative exponential e power minus 4t into s e power minus 4t into s minus 2 got it now you can take all the terms uh, there is a common term is a is common term t is common term and s square is also common term. so first term it is a 1 minus a by t and s square is 1 2 into e power minus t s and a by t s square is gone the 2 into e power minus 3 t s and a by t s square is 1 e power minus 4 t s got it my dear this is a very very important one so very very important example remember this one how we can write this uh, given slopes from 0 to t t to 3t and 3 to 4t and 4t to the remaining functions there is a four slope Okay, next to, next uh, example, my dear students. Find the Laplace transformation of uh, the given graphical representation as a square, and it is repeated at the interval of two uh, t, zero to two t, and two t to four two t, and four t to six t. Is a periodic signal. Okay, or otherwise uh, we can simply. You see, it is uh, shifted with the uh, T samples and again shifted with the 2T samples uh, and shifted with the 3T samples, 4T samples, and the 5T samples, as usual of uh, the previous example here. As usual of the previous example, but here it is a slope, but slope of with A, and here the magnitude is a 1 only. The magnitude is 1. So, no need of it is a mu of T signal only. The mu of t, the simple mu of t signal, and uh, for the second one, mu of t. What is the Fourier Laplace transformation of the mu of t? Laplace transformation of mu of t, one by s. See the first one, one by s, and it is uh, shifted towards the right side with the t samples. T samples, but it is a minus 2. Why it is a minus 2? Already we have the 1 is there. To get it is a minus 1 negative sample plus 1 minus 2. It becomes of minus 1. Okay. Minus 1 slope, not the slope, minus 1 magnitude. Okay. Minus 2 into 1 by S. Again, the mu of T because it is a shifted with the mu of T minus. T. What is the Laplace transformation for this one? E power minus S T into 1 by S. Okay. What is the slope here? 1 is the slope, not the slope. Again, I am saying the slope, not the slope, my dear students. It is a magnitude. And here the magnitude is a 1, minus 1. Magnitude is a minus 1. Already we have the 1 is there. So, I am adding minus 2 for the 1 to get it is a minus 1. And at the 2, again it is a 1, positive 1. Because here it is a minus 1 is already there. We have t minus t, the Laplace transformation, 2t. Now, what is the magnitude at present minus 1? To get it is a plus 1, we can multiply minus 2. Not the minus, it's a plus 2. To get the plus 1. Plus 2 minus 1 is a 1. What is the Laplace transformation here? Minus S T 1 by S minus 2 T. Okay. Now here the 2 is there to get the minus 1, to get the minus 1. Remember here. For 1, 1 by S, for 
the first positive cycle here and t to 2t for the second one minus 2 into e power minus ts minus 2 here minus 2 into e power minus st by s and then it is a plus 2 plus 2 into e power minus 2s by s you got up to the 2t now the mu of t minus 3t mu of t minus 3t already the 2 is there to get the minus 1 we can add the minus 3 okay to get the minus 1 we can add the minus 2 so plus 2 why it is a plus 2 plus 2 is a 1 minus 2 is 1 here minus 2 again adding of 2 for the minus 1 will get the 1 here now 1 to get the minus 1 add the minus 2 so what is the Laplace transformation Laplace transformation is minus 2 into e power minus s 3t into 1 by s so after adding the minus 2 for the 1 we are having now it is a minus 1 again to get the positive 1 positive 1 you can add the 2 plus 2 plus 2 into mu of t minus 40 plus 2 after adding the plus 2 to the minus 1 we will get the 1 again to get the minus 1 we can add the minus 2 so like that alternately alternately we will get the 1 by s minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 and so on got it my students understood the same way, whatever we are applying here for the Laplace transformation of the waveform for the slopes, here we are finding the slope equation also. But here, the, no need to find the slope equation because it is a ideal characteristics from 0 to 1 is a positive and t to 2t is a minus 1 and 2t, 3t is a 1 and 3t to 4t is a minus 1 and 4t to 5t is a 1 and so on. Got it? The next one, another way, another method is a periodic function because it is a periodic function. 0 to t, the value is a 2. Periodicity property can apply. x of s is 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2s into x1 of s. What is the x1 of s? To get this gated function. To get this gated function, first of all, you can use the mu of t. What is the mu of t is 0 to infinite. Uh, the value is 1 and another step function is shifted 3 samples. Now you can add the subtract these two functions, subtract the two functions here mu of t minus mu of t minus t. So 0 to t here the 1 and here is a 0. So 1 up to the t. And from t onwards, so here 1, here 1, 1 minus 1 is a 0. So mu of t minus mu of t minus t is multiplied with, uh, because it is a periodic function, 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2t is, why it is a 2 here? Magnitude is a 2 here. Okay. What is a mu of t? Laplace transformation 1 by s. What is a mu of t minus t Laplace transformation 1 by s and it is shifted with t samples e power minus t into s. Simplify this one, we will get 2 by s into 1 by 1, by 1 plus e power minus s into t. The periodicity property we are applying here. What is the periodicity property? See here, using, usually in determining the transform, transform of the periodic time functions, x of t is equal to x of t plus n into t where t is a period, x of s is equal to 0 to infinite x of t e power minus s t dt and 0 to t, t to 2t, 2t to 3t and so on, n t to n plus 1 into t. Okay. Then x of t is equal to x of t plus t, x of 2 plus t plus 2t, x of uh, t plus 3t and so on. All my students. Next step. So x of s is equal to, and so on. We are writing 
zero to t, x of t, and zero to t, and zero to t, zero to t. Because it is a periodic function, it can multiply simple one by one minus e power minus s t. Why it is? I already told the sum of uh, n is equal to n one to n two. A power n is equal to what is the formula? A power n one minus a power n one n two plus one by one minus a. This is a formula we have. What is a a here? After expanding this function, e power minus s t whole power zero. I am writing this function plus e power minus s t whole power one plus e power minus s t whole square and so on. Okay, means e power minus s t whole power n. You can write as zero, one, two, three, and so on. The n e power minus s t whole power capital n. Let us see. Now I am writing the sum of n is equal to. It starts from the zero and ends at the infinite. That is the infinite. You can take this as infinite up to so on the infinite. Infinite. Now what is the n one zero and n two is infinite. What is the a here? E power minus s t whole power n. So now I am changing this as sum of n is equal to zero to infinite e power minus s t whole power n. Now instead of e, we can write as e power minus s t whole power. What is the n one here? Zero minus e power minus s t whole power. What is the n two here? Infinite. Infinite plus one. By one minus e power minus s t. This is a. What is anything power zero? One. Anything power infinite? Zero. By one minus e power minus s t. What is my difference? So this total equation is equal to one by one minus e power minus s t only. One by one minus e power minus s t. And This function is the definition of the Laplace transformation. Zero to t x of t e power minus s t dt. Actually, it is a minus infinite to infinite. It is a finite duration, infinite duration. Now here it is a finite duration is there. So x one of s one. For a periodic signal, if any periodic signal is repeated for equal interval zero to t and t two t to three t and so on. What it matters to us? That is one of the most important property. Also, okay. Now you go for the inverse uh, Laplace transformation. Now you completed the Laplace transformation. Now you go for the inverse Laplace transformation. So inverse Laplace transformation. How you can find inverse Laplace transformation for any given frequency? Now the frequency domain, if it given, convert into the frequency domain to the time domain by using the partial fraction expansion only. By using the partial fraction expansion, inverse Laplace transformation you can. Do by using the partial fraction expansion, the inverse Laplace transformation by partial factor method of all the three cases. Case one, when as domain signal x of s has distinct poles, means a different poles is we have. One is s is equal to zero, another one is s is equal to p one minus p one, and another one is s is equal to minus p two. Different poles we have. Denominator factors we can call it as a poles. Numerator factors we can call it as a zeros. Remember this one. Okay, typically students they know because uh, they completed the control systems. 
by using the partial fraction, you can write as A by S and B by S plus P1 and C by S plus P2. Where here I used a K1, K2, K3 are the constants instead of A, B and C. We can use A, B, C also. Where K1 you can find out by substituting S is equal to zero in these two equations. When S is equal to zero, we'll get K1. When S is equal to minus P1, you get the K2. When S is equal to minus P2 in this equation, you'll get the K3. Then apply the inverse Laplace transformation on both sides. Inverse Laplace transformation of X of S is X of T. And inverse Laplace transformation of 1 by S. 1 by S is mu of T. And 1 by S plus A. S plus A is a e power minus A T mu of T. And here also 1 by S plus A only. 1 e power minus A T mu of T. What is A here? P2. What is A here? P1. Okay. This is a case one you can find out having the distinct poles and multiple poles we can. We already know the partial fraction, how we can get it is a multiple factors. One pole is S is equal to zero, another pole is S is equal to minus P1. And here there is a two poles out there, S is equal to P2 and S is equal to minus P2, the two poles because the square is there. Can write as a by s, b by s plus p1, c by s plus p2, and d by s plus p2 whole square. And in this also, you can substitute s is equal to 0 to get a 1, a k1, s is equal to p1 to get the k2, and s is equal to p square, s is equal to minus p2, you can substitute, you get the k4. So by using the K1, K2, already we get the K4, equate the equations to get the K3, K3 value also. Otherwise, you can substitute S is equal to minus, because it is S is equal to something, S is equal to minus P square or something. Or directly you can compare the constant, compare the S coefficients or compare the S square coefficient or compare the S cube coefficient like that. Understood? To find the constants k1, k2, k3, and k4. And then apply the inverse Laplace transformation. 1 by s is mu of t. 1 by s plus a is uh, e power minus a t mu of t. 1 by s plus a whole square. 1 by s plus a whole square is a t into t into e power minus a t mu of t. When the t is multiplied, the term is get it is a square. In the Fourier transformation also we see, we already discussed that. And here, when the T is multiplied, the Laplace transformation becomes a square of that. Okay, you see here, K1 mu of T, K2 e power minus PT into mu of T, and K3 T into e power minus AT mu of T, and K4 e power minus AT into mu of T. Got it. And the third case we can see here, the third case in general we are saying here and so on where it is a square and the so on it is there you can use it like this otherwise you directly can comparing the equations and third case complex conjugate poles distinct poles nothing but the different poles same poles you can take the multiple poles we can get even though you can write it as uh, by substituting the s value is a zero and s is equal to if any root it is there substitute and find the constants and if having the conjugate poles conjugate poles are s plus p1 and s square plus b s plus c the quadratic expression we got and for that so for that bx plus c you see here the a by s plus p1 and here you are using the p s plus c that b i am taking the k2 plus k3 and there is any quadratic expression is there in the denominator the partial fractions we can write it as p s because here the s is the quadratic expression variable okay p s plus c here i use that k1 as a and k2 is a b and k3 is a c following my students 
Now you can write this denominator as a two parts and two parts and change the above equation is also according to this equation. Because we are applying the inverse Laplace transformation. For inverse Laplace transformation, either it is in the form of 1 by s, 1 by s square, 1 by s plus a or 1 by s plus a whole square. Otherwise, otherwise a constant a by s plus a whole square plus a square like that. For that case, uh, you can get the cos omega naught t mu of t and sin omega naught t mu of t. Cos, you can see, the cos always I am said that it is a s is in the denominator. But here the s plus a, when there is s plus a means e power minus a t is also multiplied. e power minus a t is also multiplied. Remember this one. Again, I am explaining here e power minus a t mu of t. What is a Laplace transformation? 1 by s plus a and sine omega naught t mu of t. What is a Laplace transformation? Oh, sine is omega naught by s square plus omega naught square. Now these two is multiplied e power minus a t sine omega naught t mu of t. Now, what is the Laplace transformation of combining these two? Wherever the s is there, we can replace the s plus e. So, omega naught pi s plus e whole square plus omega naught square. If suppose it is a cos e power minus e t cos omega naught t mu of t. What is the Laplace transformation? s plus a by s plus a whole square plus omega naught square. Why? When the cos omega naught t mu of t, the Laplace transformation is s by s square plus omega naught square. So, wherever the s is there, you can replace the s plus a when it is multiplied e power minus e t. So, the above equation is also to get in this terms of uh, Laplace transformation to get the inverse Laplace transformation. S plus A by S plus A whole square omega naught square means e power minus A T cos omega naught. And here the S plus A only e power minus A T mu of T. And now you can see here omega naught by S plus A whole square omega naught square. That is equivalent of uh, e power minus A T sin omega naught T mu of T. If suppose if I am multiplied for these two functions t into cos omega naught t mu of t, what is the Laplace transformation? When the t is multiplied, it becomes of square s by s square plus omega naught square whole square. The t. I already told the e power minus a t mu of t. It becomes of 1 by s plus a whole square. The same thing, the t into e power minus a t, here the whole square it becomes. You remember that all the Laplace transformations of the standard signals to find the inverse Laplace transformation, to find the inverse Laplace transformations. Got it, my dear students? So we've completed all the terms. Uh, Inverse Laplace transformation also. So we'll do the some more examples uh, of the inverse Laplace transformation. I'll explain some examples, my dear students, here. The inverse Laplace transformation examples. Uh, let see if any any time you can be asked the inverse Laplace transformation means it definitely it requires the uh, ROC also. Not for the standard signals, uh, but if any equation is given, let us uh, x of s is equal to given. 3s plus 7 by s square minus 2s 
minus 3 for ROC is for the first ROC they are asking that ROC is greater than the 3 for the second one for the second ROC less than minus 1 and third ROC is in between of uh, minus 1 and 3. Okay. Minus 1 and 3. So at the different ROCs, it's a different equation we'll get for the inverse Laplace transformation. Okay, my dear students. Now let us see. You can write this as s square minus 2s minus 3 as by using the minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac or otherwise you directly you can write as x of s is equal to 3s plus 7. Here yeah, the minus 2 is there minus 3. So minus 3 into 1 plus 1. Okay. s square minus 3s plus s minus 3 it becomes of minus 2s only take the common here the 3s plus 7 by take the first s is a common s square not s square s minus 3 and for the last two can take the one is a common s minus 3 so it becomes of 3s plus 7 by s minus 3 into s plus 1. Now you got the factors in the denominator poles. So x of s is equal to x of s is equal to now I am writing that is a, a by s minus 3 plus b by s, s plus 1. What it minus friends? Now you can equate this function as 3s plus 7 is equal to a into s plus 1 plus b into s minus 3. Got it. Now we can substitute s is equal to 3 in this equation. s is equal to 3 in this equation. s is equal to 3 means b is a 0. b is a 0. 9 plus 7 is equal to a into 3 plus 1 is a 4. 9 plus 7 is a 16, therefore a is equal to, what is a, a is equal to 4? 16 by 4. Now, you can equate the S equations or you can substitute S is equal to minus 1. Now, I am equating the S equations, S coefficients 3, A plus B. A is a 4, B is equal to minus 1 b is equal to minus 1. What did my students? Now the x of s is equal to a, a we got the 4 pi s minus 3 and plus b is minus 1 by s plus 1. Okay. Now you can write the for the first ROC. What they are asking it is a greater than Greater than means always is a positive value only. Positive means x of t is equal to. When whenever the given it is a one equation, ROC is only the one. Either it is a greater than, less than means you can write a positive real axis if it is a greater than. You can write a negative real axis when it is a less than. When the combined equations is given, you can see the value here. First of all, I am writing the ROC of ROC greater than the 3 means positive real axis only 4 into s minus a s minus a means e power a t 3 t into mu of t I am writing the mu of t because it is a greater than minus 1 is a coefficient e power e power minus a t mu of t the Laplace transformation is 1 by s plus a what is a a here minus 3 so minus into minus is a plus it becomes a 3t and minus 1 is a coefficient and e power minus because it's a plus here 
minus t into mu of t. Okay, this is the inverse Laplace transformation for the ROC greater than three. For the second one, the second one you can see it is a less than they're asking them, less than the minus one. Less than the minus one means a negative relaxes. Negative relaxes. Less than the minus one. The ROC you can like here the three is there. ROC is above the three. And the second one, if I'm taking the ROC is less than minus one, the region of convergence is like this: minus one below the minus one ROC. Below the minus one means V of minus T. So X of T is equal to four and S minus three means E power three T, but it is not the positive V of minus T. V of minus T. And that V of minus T also here, you can keep the minus also, minus into E power A T. If it is a minus e power minus a t v of minus t, the Laplace transformation is 1 by s plus e. But ROC is different for this one. Okay. And similarly, already we have the minus is there. Now it becomes plus e power minus t is a mu of t. Mu of minus t. So both are minus t's. Okay, minus e power minus a t, mu of minus t is a 1 by s plus a for the negative relaxes. It is for the ROC of a less than minus 1. But coming to the third one, with the two terms representing in the positive mu of t, and here the two terms representing the negative of mu of minus t. The sign is positive here, the sign is negative. But in this, ROC minus 1 is less than ROC and ROC is less than 3. So observe here, in between of minus 3, minus 1 and the plus 3. So minus 1, ROC minus 1 less than means it is a greater than. ROC is less than the 3 means 3. So in between of uh, the ROC is there. So minus 1 is greater than and 3 is less than. So where the value is, the first value is a 3, because the 3 is less than, you can write here the minus 4 e power 3t mu of minus t. But 1 is greater than, is towards positive relaxes. 3 value is towards a negative relaxes. So the 3 value you can write as a negative relaxes values, and 1 we can write it as a positive relaxes. So e power minus t mu of t, I'm writing. Here it is a mu of minus t. Remember my students. It is a mu of minus t. Mu of minus t. Got it? This is a third ROC. When it is a greater than means write all the terms is a positive. Less than means all the terms is a negative. But whenever it is in the range means ROC, 1 is towards the positive means, you can write the mu of t. 3 is towards the negative means, write as mu of minus t and keep the sign as negative. What it, my dear students? It is a very important, ROC is very important to write the inverse Laplace transformation. Definitely, we require the ROC only. ROC is a positive or the negative. Okay. Then another example in the inverse Laplace transformation. Using the differential equation. Using the differential equation. What is a differential equation? D square in the Fourier transformation also we did that uh, some examples. Let us take the one example here. Using the differential equation or by using the partial fraction, not the partial fraction, convolution method. 
by using the convolution method also you can find out uh, the inverse laplace transformation for the given equations now let us see here the given it is uh, d square y of t by dt square the differential equation plus 4 into dy of t by dt plus 5 into y of t is equal to 5x of t with initial conditions they are giving y of 0 minus is equal to 1 and dy of t by dt at 0 is equal to 2. 0 minus is equal to 2. And input input x of t is equal to mu of t. This is a given example. Now you can find out the solve the following differential equation. Solve the differential equation. Apply the Laplace and apply the inverse Laplace transformation also. What is the Laplace transformation of a derivative function? d by dt of x of t. Laplace transformation is s into x of s. Okay, if it is a square, I'm applying the square, is s square into y because it's a y, y of s, y of s plus 4 into dy of t by dt is s into y of s plus 5 into y of s is equal to 5 into x of t. What is x of t given? Mu of t. Mu of t, the Laplace transformation is 1 by s. Okay. Take the term here, the y of s is a common. y of s, s square plus 4s plus 4s. 5 is equal to 5 by s. Now, write this y of s is equal to 5 by s into s square plus 4s plus 5. What did my students? Now, what is s square plus 4s plus uh, 5? There is no any direct uh, roots we have definitely it is a complex roots only we'll get the complex roots if i am right directly i'm writing here a by s plus b by and this function you can write as s plus 2 plus j plus c by s plus 2 minus j you can multiply these two. S plus 2 plus j, a plus b into a minus m is s plus 2 whole square minus minus j whole square. Simplify this one s square plus 4 plus 4s. j square is a minus 1 plus 1 will get s square plus 4s plus 5. Got it, minus students. These are roots will get a plus b into a minus b. And simplify here to find the a and the b and the c values. What is the a? Substitute any equations. Compare the equations or substitute s is equal to 0. s is equal to 0, you'll get the b and c. s is equal to 2 plus j. And s is equal to 2 minus j can substitute a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus j and c is equal to j will get okay so after finding of a and the b i am directly writing this equation y of s is equal to a is 1 1 by s and the b is what is a denominator here plus value b is minus j by s plus 2 plus j and c will get plus j by s plus 2 minus j. 
got it minus two x. So y of s is equal to. I'm writing this one by s plus and denominator. I'm taking here s plus two plus j all multiply with s plus two. Minus j. What is here? We'll get a minus j into s plus two minus j plus j into s plus two plus j. Now, if we simplify here, minus j s plus j s minus two j plus two j. And minus into minus is a plus j square minus one, and j into j j square minus one. It becomes of a plus two, total. If the minus is there, my dear students, so minus j into s plus two, and plus j into s plus two. If the minus j into minus j, minus j square, and j into j. Plus j square. Okay, j square minus one. J square is a minus one, and here the minus one is a plus one, and the minus one. It is a not the same value, my dear students. We uh, are getting the wrong answer. Minus j into s plus two minus j, and we'll get the two here. S plus two plus j and s plus two minus j minus j into s plus two minus j and s plus two minus j and it becomes uh, a square plus b square a square minus b square. Okay, so y of s is equal to. One by s plus here it becomes of a my plus j my dear students this is a minus two. Then you can get it is a minus two. So plus and here it is a minus minus plus j into s plus two minus j into s plus two get cancelled. Plus j into minus j, it becomes of a minus j square, and here also the minus j square. Okay, j into j minus j square, and denominator it is s plus two whole square minus j square. What is a j square? Minus one. Minus into minus is a plus. What is a j square? Minus one. Minus into minus plus. Totally, you get the two. So y of s is equal to one by s plus two by s plus two whole square. What is a j square? Minus one. It becomes of one here. What did the students? So now we can apply the inverse Laplace transformation. Apply the inverse Laplace transformation. What is the inverse Laplace transformation here? So for one by s, we get the y of t is equal to what is the one by s mu of t plus two into two is a constant. After getting the two, we can write as now I am writing this one by s plus two into one by s plus two whole square plus one square. This it is in the form of a sine. T mu of t sine omega naught. What is omega naught here? One, one, and s plus two because it is s plus two is multiplied means e power minus two t. So two into e power minus two t sine t mu of t is an inverse Laplace transformation. Why I multiply the e power minus two t? S plus two is there. 
whenever if it is a s square plus 1 square and 1 is there, that is a sin t omega t omega. Not the sin t, mu of t. What is the sin t mu of t? The Laplace transformation is 1 by s square plus 1 square. When it is multiplied with e power minus 2t mu of t, 2t sin t mu of t, the Laplace transformation is 1 by, wherever the s is there, you can replace the s plus 2, s plus 2 whole square plus 1 square. So, mu of t plus 2 into e power minus 2t sin t mu of t. We take the mu of t is a common and write here it is a 1. What it matters for us? If any differential equation is given like this, you can find it. First of all, the Laplace transformation by applying the differentiation property. Then after, you can find the inverse Laplace transformation for the y of s value. Got it, my dear friends. And in the given equation, in the given equation, see here, we are not using the y of 0 minus is equal to 1 and the d by dt of 0 is equal to 2. When it is useful, Whenever you can apply this as a unilateral, here I am applying the bilateral. If it is a unilateral, means s square y of s minus y of 0 is there. And here also s into y of s minus y of 0 minus. Okay. In that case, it is useful. Otherwise, when directly can apply the bi uh, bilateral Laplace transformation, no need of using the initial values. No need of the initial values. If it is a unilateral means definitely can substitute the y of 0 is a 1 and the dy of t by dt is equal to 2. What it what is twice? And in another way, in the Fourier transformation also, we can find the inverse Fourier transformation by using the convolution property. By using the convolution property. Here also, by using the convolution property, find the inverse Laplace transformation. That is 1 by s square into s plus 2. Find the inverse Laplace transformation by using the convolution property. What is the convolution property? f of s is equal to, it becomes of f1 of s and f2 of s. That is, this is a given function is f of s you can assume 1 by s square into 1 by s plus 2 okay f1 of s is equal to i am assuming the 1 by s square and f2 of s uh, i am assuming the 1 by s plus 2 what is the inverse laplace transformation for f1 of s f1 of t is equal to square means t into mu of t for mu of t is 1 by s and it is a multiplied the t 1 by s square. And f2 of t, what is a Laplace transformation, inverse Laplace transformation? Because it is s plus a e power minus 2t mu of t. Okay, we got in the time domain. What is the convolution? f1 of t with the convolution of f2 of t. The formula is integral minus infinite to infinite f1 of tau f2 of uh, t minus tau d tau. Okay. Integral minus infinite infinite. What is f1 of tau? You can substitute wherever the t is there. That is a tau. Tau into mu of tau. And here the f2, wherever the t is there, t minus tau. e power minus uh, 2 into t minus tau mu of uh, t minus tau d tau. Okay, mu of tau. What is the mu of tau? Is equal to 1 for tau is greater than or equal to 0. Similarly, mu of t minus tau is equal to 1 when the t minus tau is greater than or equal to 0. And t is greater than or equal to tau. And tau is less than or equal to t. So, using these two, 
tau is greater than or equal to zero and tau is less than or equal to t, it is in between of a, a zero to t on. So I'm changing the limitations now, the zero to t tau, and it becomes of one and e power minus two t and e power plus two tau beta. Okay, apply the biparts now. That is equal to this f of t is equal to as a convolution. E power minus two t is a constant because it is t value and tau into e power tau e power two tau integral zero to t tau into e power two tau d tau integration by parts. So what is the integration by parts here? First of all, if I take the tau and apply the integral here, e power two tau by two minus, take the integral, apply the derivative here, tau one, and apply the integral for this one, e power two tau by the two, and with the limitations of zero to t, again, inside the e power minus two t, tau, e power 2 tau by 2 minus, apply the integral here again, e power 2 tau by 4 into t with 0. And these are the values of tau. So e power minus 2 t, tau is t, e power 2 t by 2, e power 2t by 2 minus e power 2t by 4 upper limit I am substituting with the two terms and coming to the lower limit and the tau is a 0 means third term is a 0 and the fourth term is becomes of e power 0 is a 1 1 by 4 okay now you can multiply this uh, e power minus 2t in the inside e power minus 2t and e power plus 2t it becomes of e power 0, 1. So t by 2. And e power minus 2t is multiplied with this one. It is also 1 minus 1 by 4 minus for this function e power minus 2t is multiplied e power minus 2t by 4. So final answer is t by 2 minus 1 by 4 and uh, minus 1 by 4 into e power minus 2t and here there is a below i am substituting the lower limit means it is a plus minus plus 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 it will get okay plus value upper limit when i have substituted the upper limit it becomes of a positive value and lower limit you can substitute it is a negative values will get. Got it, my dear students? Uh, now the t by 2, mu of t actually, and 1 by 4, delta of t, and 1 by 4 e power minus 2t into mu of t, all the values. Okay. Inverse Laplace transformation can find out by using the, either the given distinct poles, multiple poles, or conjugate poles, otherwise by using the convolution property or if any differential equation is given like this you can find out uh, the inverse laplace transformation okay you can find out the inverse laplace transformation there are some more examples you can solve in the late cell matter students what is So these are the different methods are using to solve the differential equations are to solve to find out the inverse Laplace transformations. Got it, my dear students? Inverse Laplace transformation. In this also, if I am using this equation is for bilateral bilateral 
Laplace transformation. If it is a unilateral Laplace transformation, if it is a unilateral Laplace transformation, see my dear students, if it is a unilateral Laplace transformation, what is a d square y of t by dt square? S square y of s minus s into y of 0 minus y of 0 minus minus y dash of 0 minus. So y dash of means nothing but dy y dy by dt plus 4 into and here 4 into d by dt. What is a d by dt? S into y of s minus y of 0 minus plus 5 into y of s. Okay. Now what is a y of 0 minus is given? 1. Okay. And this equation is equal to 5 by s because it is x of s is equal to s square y of s minus s into what is the y of 0 minus given 1 1 minus and what is the y dy of t by dt y of 0 minus is also equal to the y dash of 0 minus is a 2 2 plus 4 into s y of s minus 4 y of 0 minus y of 0 minus is a 1 sir so minus 4 plus 5 y of s is equal to 5 by s why why, why you have got the y y s mu of t laplace transformation here s square minus s s square minus s the constant here we have minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 minus 4 we got so that is becomes of uh, the numerator is becomes i am writing here my dear students here itself only i am removing this one this is the equation we got the bilateral now i am writing the unilateral equations unilateral equation s square y of s you can take as a common here s square and minus 1 not the minus 1 y of s is a plus 4 4 s plus 4 s and here plus 5 And other function is there minus s and uh, minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus s is there is equal to 5 by s 5 by s s square minus s minus 2 plus 4 s y of s 4 s into so y it is a 4 oh, okay 4 s into y of s s square plus 4 s plus 5 and it becomes of this value then what is the y of s here the y of s is equal to and take this in the outside not the outside is of in the right side s square plus 4 s plus 5 is equal to, I don't get the minus and minus 2 minus 6 is a minus, minus 2 minus 4 is a minus 6. The 5 by s minus is plus, minus 6 becomes plus 6 here and minus s is becomes of plus s. Okay, y of s is equal to, take the LCM here, 5 plus 6 s plus s square and denominator we have the s and this also we can multiply s square plus 4s plus 5. Now numerator becomes a second order and denominator is a third order. Directly you can write as a by s 
and b by b s plus c into s square plus four s plus five. Then you can solve like this by taking off plus j by s plus two plus j minus j by s plus two minus. So unilateral and uh, bilateral is different. For unilateral, you can use the initial conditions s y of zero minus y dash of zero minus, and can substitute that values and simplify the equation. What it matters to us? Okay. Any doubts is there? The finding of inverse Laplace transformation in the different methods by giving the ROC greater than all the terms you can write as positive values. Less than means all the terms you can write as a mu of minus t folded function. If it in the range means in that range you, you can see which is in the positive direction and which is in the negative direction. Write that values only in the positive and the negative. By using the convolution property also, you can find out the inverse Laplace transformation. And by using the differentiation property also, the given differential equation you can find out the inverse Laplace transformation. Any doubts, my dear students? Okay. So with this, uh, the Laplace transformation is completed. The fifth unit of uh, triple A students is completed. And the fifth unit uh, for the EC students, uh, first part is completed. Okay. Any doubts? Okay. Thank you.